while I'm still here on this earth, I can be assured that, you know, that ground is never going to be built on. Now at 11, families of victims from the Beverly Hills Supper Club fire weigh in as the final approval was given today to develop the site of the former Supper Club. In 1977, 165 people were killed here following that fire. Now that land has sat vacant for more than four decades. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle explains what's to come of the 80 acres of that land and there is reaction too from those who lost a loved one 44 years ago. Leslie Deshar says it's a night she and many others won't ever forget. Told me that I should just go home and wait for her to come home or for a phone call that never happened. Her mother, Rosemary, a cocktail waitress at the Beverly Hills Supper Club. She never made it out after fire ravaged the building. Finally, after two weeks, got a partial body or torso, so to speak. And ever since then, I've just been waiting for 44 years, knowing something would be built near the site of the Beverly Hills Supper Club. It's inevitable. With Monday's announcement of finalized sale of the land, 80 acres developed into 85 homes, 200 modern apartments, and a senior care facility for Leslie. I just wanted to make sure nobody ever built anything on top of the cabaret room where 165 people perished, took their last breath, along with my mom. Ashley Builders Group and Vision Realty Group will allow family members of victims and survivors to pay for a fountain constructed near the cabaret room. Nothing will be built where it once stood. It was like weight was lifted off my shoulders. A permanent memorial will also become a park at the base of a hill near Alexandria Pike. Now, Southgate City officials are saying it's the turning of a page. It's a stain that's on our city. It will be there for the rest of our lives. But at the same point, too, I think this development also brings a new chapter. Southgate Mayor Jim Hamburg. $65 million, uh, that is uh, probably the largest development that's ever happened in the city of Southgate. It means added tax revenue and improved city services. It also means a new chapter for many. This doesn't so much bring closure, but I think the fact that we know that there's something that's going to finally be dedicated as a memorial, I think it says a lot. The Shars resolution comes in knowing what's to come and knowing she did her part to keep her mom's legacy and that of 164 others alive. My goal was to make sure that everybody remembers them. Never forget. In Southgate, Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News. Developers say they expect construction to begin sometime next week.